Okay guys, today we're playing around with the Kram muzzle brake straight from Europe, uh, from beautiful city of uh, Varna in Bulgaria and uh, we have uh, some uh, first impressions, uh, impressions on the brake. Uh, we did put up to the test uh, in our famous uh, dark room and uh, I have to say that uh, uh, you know, I was expecting some sort of the flash and uh, this muzzle brake produced some flash but Paul, how was it, it looking from uh, the trigger puller position? You were pulling a trigger on the rifle. How was the blinding effect? Uh, I'll tell you this, Rob. The way they have this design with our uh, larger slots on each side definitely puts the flash on each side of the rifle instead of straight up, which makes it um, fairly easy to you know, keep an eye on the target without being blinded by it. So uh, you would say it was rather positive effect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't, you know, maybe perfect. Because I, even I, as a cameraman, I did notice the flash, uh, but I was kind of surprised. Uh, I, I thought it would be more, and uh, I, I think I was uh, I was positively surprised. So this is definitely a nice construction of, of the brake. These holes are cut out the way that they uh, really control the flash nicely. It's not perfect. It's not a flash hider. It's a muzzle brake. Uh, did the job well. Uh, then we had the side wave uh, pressure test. And here is when the, the, you know, you could really feel the pressure. I was standing on the side of you, Paul, when you did pull the trigger and I was hit with the, you know, tremendous pressure wave. So I would say that uh, be gentle for your teammates, guys, uh, when you're running that brake uh, on the system on the rifle, which is in the team. Uh, be aware of, of the surroundings and if you have a teammates on the left or to the right, it is not going to be a pleasant feeling uh, on them and as, as it was demonstrated with with our uh, test uh, I think even the, the cap got knocked down yeah. uh, and so uh, you know and again I'm not surprised by it because you got these cutout holes on the sides and uh, that you know accumulative pressure it's gotta go somewhere so uh, that was that was expected to be uh, but finally this is the muzzle brake so the primary job of this brake is to control the muzzle right. Uh, how, what was your opinion on it, Paul? Um, it reminded me a lot of the, the SRVV brake and how much control I had with it. I would I would put them close together for uh, for muzzle control. That's outstanding uh, observation because I think so that this brake uh, definitely competes with the SRVV <laughs> jet brake. Uh, to be honest with you, what I like about this brake, it's much much lighter. Uh, compared to the SRVV jet brake, what it means uh, with the lighter brake, you have a much better control over the, the rifle and uh, at the end of the rifle isn't as heavy as with the jet brake and uh, this translates to how fast you can move from target to target and uh, less weight up front is always better. So uh, I think so that uh, in our little ranking, yeah, definitely this brake, you know, performed better and it has a better physical uh, properties compared to the to the uh, jet brake because uh, I think uh, the weight ratio uh, is like two to one on the side of the crown brake. So overall, I would say this is a very good package. Uh, it's not perfect, as you know, it's not perfect from the regards of of the flash hiding, but as a muzzle brake, oh my gosh, I'm I'm really surprised. Uh, it's working really well. Uh, the one thing to remember guy, guys, this is the 24 millimeter thread on it, so what it means for the uh, AKMs uh, with the 14 uh, millimeters to uh, dash one left hand thread, you're going to need to have the adapter to 24 millimeter thread in order to accept that brake. But uh, I would say that definitely that brake is worth the money, there's no question about it, it's an outstanding product and I'm really are uh, really pleased with it. Uh, I, I think uh, I think so that uh, it would be nice to have a 74 version right now for the 5.45. So uh, I will check with uh, with the manufacturer if they are planning on it. But uh, from me, it's definitely thumbs up. What oh, you yeah. think, Paul? Yeah, thumbs up for me too. All right, guys, let us know if you have any questions, uh, and we'll try to respond. It. Thanks for watching.